How you guys doing today? <clears throat> Desire Gang. Everybody, I fuck with me. I fuck with y'all for real, for real. Salute. I got a, a topic today. It's called Why I Cut Everybody Off. You know, and actually, I cut everybody off. Why I did that, you know. Um, well, it's gonna offend some people, and it's gonna uh, uh, correct some people if they got the right mind to get corrected, you know. And uh, the one that is gonna offend, they really just gotta go look at themselves and see if what I said is true or not, or if, it's, or if what I said is like um, like solid, you know. But um, let's get into it. First of all. Right now, as you can see, I'm by myself. I ain't got no friends right now. And that's that's not because I'm fake. No, I'm not fake. You know. I don't think I am fake. No, I just I just feel like people don't understand me, you know? And uh, when people don't understand you, well, you gotta separate yourself from people. You know, um, not because you hate them. But because uh, because it, can, it just can't work, you know. It's, understanding is needed everywhere, every in every relationship, in everything, you know. You need understanding, you know. Without understanding, then shit, shit, shit fucked up, you know. Um, I. Uh, the second thing I want to talk about is, um, well, sometimes you can go a lot of, through a lot of pain, and you, the, the pain you're going through makes you not want to see people, you know, and uh, I, I was just going through a lot of pain, uh, and I felt like, man, I don't, I don't want to be around nobody, I want to, like, just because I'm feeling so much pain, you know, like, uh, and, uh, because I felt like uh, the way I believe about the world and, and, and everything, you know, was contradicting with like the people around me, you know, and uh, like reality and shit, you know. Um, uh, the second thing is, um, I believe that I don't need money for anything to be happy. That's what I truly, deeply believe in my, in my, in my heart, you know, and um, I believe that I can live without it, you know, I can live without anything, you know, that's what I believe, you know, uh, because I, I got God, you know, shit, not just God, but I got me, you know, shit, you know, like, all I'm saying is, you know, like, I believe I can do that, you know, but uh, most of my friends, they don't believe it, you know, uh, most of my family members, they don't believe it, my, probably the whole city don't believe it, you know, probably the whole world probably don't even believe it, you know, and they might be true to, to some extent, like, you need food and shit, you need, uh, you need, uh, you need a house to sleep in, you need things that you, that you need, you know, and that's true too, you know, but my perception also is true, you know, that you don't need none of, none of that shit to be actually truly happy, you know, and, um, I, we, now we're going to get to into it, you know, because, um, when I was in Murfreesboro, you know, and I, I, I was living there, you know, I was working, you know, I was I was paying for my apartment, you know, I was paying for the weed, you know, I was, you know, I was paying for uh, rent, I was paying for the electric bill, I was paying for my own food, it was all good, you know, and I was sharing my shit, you know, that's what I'm trying to talk about, like, I was sharing my stuff, you know, with people, you know, uh, and then when I actually stopped working and I wasn't making any money, it was like everybody disappeared, you know. Everybody was gone, you know, like, 
nowhere to be found. I swear to God, you know. And even the people that used to smoke my weed every day, like drink my alcohol, like stay in my, on my couch, you know, like everything, they, they psh, disappear, man. I'm like, damn, we ain't like that. I thought we was tight, you know. But when your money gone, the people just start like running away, you know. And I'm like, damn, okay, that's how these people are, you know. And to be honest, that just didn't happen there in Murfreesboro, you know. And I was like, okay, fuck these people in Murfreesboro. I know they're all gold diggers and all that shit, man. I finna go back to my home where my people love me, man. Like, Nashville, Tennessee, you know, where, like, everything good, man. Like, I'm talking about, like, 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 where, I, where I'm used to, you know. And, uh, and, um, uh, and I came here, okay. And I got here. You know, I, I still have money, you know, I, I still work a couple jobs, I, I got me a job down the street, you know, I still make a little money, you know, and uh, I still smoke my weed with people just like normal, you know, I ain't, I ain't had no grudge or nothing, I still don't have no grudge on anybody, I still can smoke my weed with some people if I want to, even if they didn't smoke their weed with me, I still can, you know, do whatever I want to, you know, I'm still me, you know, but then when I got here, man, like, okay, First of all, like my family members, they, they, they start denying me, like for real, for real. Like talking about, man, you ain't got no money, man. You you out here homeless, man. You know, like she, she, see, they start literally denying me, you know, like, and I'm like, damn, this is how it's supposed to be. Y'all supposed to be the one to hold me down, you know, when I'm really, really down, you know, like everybody just started like you know acting strange and crazy and this so fucking disrespectful towards me you know like you broke like i heard that shit every day you know and i'm like damn okay you gotta get money you know like like even when i get money you know i still feel like i ain't got enough money because now people had made me they already make me feel like damn money is important like a lot important than i thought you know but at the same time you know you know, it is important, you know, I agree, you know, but that's why I'm getting to my next point, like, just because something is important to you, does not mean it's equally important to somebody else the same way, you know, just like weed, for example, and I apologize to anybody who are forced to smoke weed with me, I'm sorry, because that shit it's not as important to other other people. I start realizing that shit, you know, like when I see other people don't smoke weed, I admire them for that shit, you know, I'm like, damn, these motherfuckers they ain't gotta leave. They ain't gotta like, um, they ain't gotta like smoke to leave, you know, they, they can just live life, you know, they, they ain't gotta, uh, they ain't gotta uh, stress over nothing, you know, like over some weed or the weed man, you know, or, the, or, or not having the weed or, or, anything man or getting caught high all you know how much stress comes with that shit you know and all i'm just saying is like i admire that shit you know and uh my friends though my immediate friends though uh they start feeling like man uh you know like them buying me weed is like them me doing me a big 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 gigantic favor and i'm like damn that's not really how it is, you know, I can go down the street and get somebody to buy me weed, you know, I can go, you know, like, I can literally go downtown and get somebody to buy me weed, you know, I can, I can literally, like, get a girl, you know, and she gonna buy me weed, you know, like, anybody can buy me weed, so if I'm hanging out with y'all, it's because I actually care about y'all, you know, and not because I want weed from y'all, no, you know. And I can buy myself weed, you know, every day, you know, and I got it, you know, I got it that, you know, um, I got it that, I got it that you guys um, feel like I was smoking your weed or something, you know, and you start chewing me fucked up, you know, and I was like, man, fuck it, let's cut the cords, you know, because, you know, think about it, you know, like, uh, if you abuse me for just a little weed that you give me, nah, hell nah, that's bullshit, you know, start lying to me and shit, you know, start, you know, acting like you superior to me just because you give me something, nah, 
That's bullshit, you know, to cut everybody off, you know. And um, other people do is just acting like I need money, I need a job, I need this, I need that, you know. And like every time they see me, they, they want to tell me, oh, have you gotten a job yet? Oh, have you gotten your job yet? Oh, have you did this yet? I'm like, man, I make music, first of all. That's my shit, you know. That's who I am, okay. That's that's my job. That's what God made me for, you know. And second of all, you don't, that's not, that, is that how I'm doing? You know, like, you got to ask somebody how they doing first. Like, hey, John Desire, how you doing? You know, and, you know, everything, you know, how is everything going, you know. Somebody could be going through hell. You don't know, you just telling them, hey, you got any job? Hey, hey you, hey, have you got a job? Hey, you getting the money? Hey, you getting... I'm like, man, that shit ain't shit. You know, when you feeling down, the money, the cars, everything you got ain't shit. Trust me, you know, when you really down, everything you got ain't shit. So, my next point is, I was getting tired of getting drained every day. You know, like, like people, you know, like draining me. You know, like, damn, like, you know, Talking shit, talking down, you know, like, you know, draining me, you know, like, making me feel less of a, of a person, you know, and I'm not less of a person, okay? No, I am a king, you know, not because of money, not because of status, nah, not because I am me, nigga, shit, what the heck, you know, I'm not you, and you can never be me, you know? And nobody can never be me, you know. I can never be nobody too. So I didn't want to be y'all. I don't want to be y'all. I don't want to be y'all. I don't want to go to work every day, you know, and try to make money. No, fuck that. That's not me. Okay. I don't want to be y'all. Take that shit how you want to take it. That's you. Okay. And you can be rich as fuck if you want to. I don't care. You know. I don't care if you got the biggest cars in this world. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if you got the biggest houses in this world. I don't give a fuck, you know. So guess what? We're different energies, you know. That's what